YouTube is good. It's your boy Rob, man. Back with another video. What should I say? This one, all right? No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Listen, bro. How to get dreads? You feel me? How to get dreads? How I started my dreads, bro. Y'all keep asking me this question. You know what I'm saying? I started seeing it, so I'm gonna do the vid, my nigga. I'm gonna do the vid, bro. I'm gonna do the vid. You know, I'm gonna try not to cuss because YouTube been on my behind. You feel me? See, that's better. You feel me? But look, as y'all can see, you know, I got dreads, you know. This is my real hair, no extensions that y'all boys be doing. I ain't got nothing wrong with extensions. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no female. I don't like to wear weed. But, you know what I'm saying? This is how my hair looking. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to know how I started. Now, I already got a series on YouTube. I already got a series of uh, Free From Journey. Now, it literally shows from when I had an afro to now. You feel me? It shows the process. I explained the process, all that. You know what I'm saying? What not, what not, what not, what not, what not. Now, let me explain to you how I started. My dress, you feel me? But before we get into that, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. You feel me? If you're not subscribed already, subscribe to the channel, bro. Like the video, you feel me? But look. How I got this dress in my hair, you feel me? So boom, right? I had dress like this already. I already had long, pretty long dress, you feel me? Pretty long dress. And if I wasn't in a rush, I would have edited, you feel me? But look, I had pretty long dress. There was kind of, there was a little bit shorter than these, just a little bit, like a tiny bit, you feel me? But I already had dress like a year ago. I wasn't messing with them. I didn't like them, so I had cut them. I had cut those dreads. I had cut them in half. So basically, literally, boom. Cut them in half just like that. I did it all over my head. Cut all my dreads in half. You know, so I was going to rock it like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I just wanted free forms back. I was going to rock it like that. And I was like, nah, my the ends is like flat and look like, look like I'm a damn, I don't know, like a doll or something. I ain't like that. So I just, so I got a comb and I combed my hair out. You know what I'm saying? I combed my hair out and I just had an afro on my head. You feel me? Had an afro on my head. And I was like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to start my freeform dread journey correctly, dude. Now, this is like my third, fourth time, fifth time getting freeforms. Like, freeforms is like my go-to hairstyle. You know what I'm saying? I want, don't be surprised if I cut these and get freeforms, but I want my hair to go to like my, my, my shoulder length. I never had my hair grow, grow that long. You feel me? So, I'm going to get my hair to like my shoulder length, and then I might cut it or whatever. But, like I was saying, yeah. So, the first day I had a sponger. I was just sponging my hair. Normal day, just sponging my hair, just sponging my hair, nothing too crazy, right? So I was just like, damn, bro, this is gonna be a process, bro. So the next day, you know, I was like, hmm, I got a crochet needle, right? Now, when I sponge my hair, when you sponge your hair, it leaves your hair in like little sections, you know what I'm saying? So each section, I grabbed it. So this was this was a little section, I grabbed it, got a crochet needle, and I crocheted it. Not, I didn't crochet it, crochet it, but I crocheted it enough to where like, if I wet my hair or anything, that um that section wouldn't come out. So I already had instant dread. So I did that to my whole head, literally to my whole head. And then from that moment forward, I just consistently wear my hair because the crochet made my hair like stick out like it was spiky or like I had a girl that's not gel in my, you know, in my hair or whatever. So I had put that in, right? So boom, right? I had put that in there. You know what I'm saying? I wet my hair. And from the time I crocheted my hair, the whole time I had free forms, I always wet my hair in the shower. I always wet my hair because I wanted my hair to lay down, right? And I knew when my hair in the shower would make my hair lay down. So I would just lay it. You know what I'm saying? And then I have when I have I used to have a job back then at Wing Stop. So when I worked at Wing Stop, you know, to do my hair to make it look decent or whatever, I'll take water. Put it on the faucet, put water in my hair, and just put water in my hair like this. Not to where it's soaking wet, but it's damp, right? And I have some leave-in conditioner. I have some leave-in conditioner, and I'll pour it in my hand. No, I'll pour it in my hand, and then I'll put it all over my head, and then I'll shake it. I'll shake it just like that, and that's how I do my hair for like work, or if I'm going somewhere, you feel me? And then I want my hair, now I'm laying down and stuff, and my hair all flat, and that's how I'll do my hair. And I pretty much do that. And then over time, of course, my hair get longer, you know, the dress started to get more mature and all this other stuff. And I'm just going through the basics. Now, I had, now, some time goes by and I basically, like these sides, like this bottom row of my dress, like on both sides, I ain't like how it was looking. So what I did was I got scissors and I cut like some of the side ones and have or whatever. 
put some of the side ones in half for it, was, it, it. It had like a little look to it, and I was messing with the look, all this other stuff. It was a cool look, you know. And then eventually, I was just like, bro, I'm tired of free form look. I need, I need a retwist, bro. Like, I'm tired of free form look. Okay, I got free form. Let me start my regular dread journey. And now I'm here, bro. And I got my first retwist um, in December. Yeah, I got my first retwist in December. And, you know, then I got another retwist in January. And then I stopped getting retwists for, like, a two months. And I got another retwist either March or April. Now I got another retwist in March. And then I got another one in April. So since March, I've been getting a retwist every month, once every month. You know what I'm saying? But... It's already been a month since my last retwist on my hair, but I don't know if I'm gonna get a retwist or I'm gonna, um, I don't know if I'm gonna get a retwist or I'm gonna just let another month go by, you know, for my hair to really like just grow, you know what I'm saying? Because my goal is to have my hair down to like my, damn, down to like my uh, shoulders or something, you feel me? That's how long I want my hair to be, you know what I'm saying? But my hair been growing pretty fast, I ain't gonna lie. It's been growing pretty fast and stuff. You feel me? But that's how I really I started these dreads, you feel me? But y'all been asking, bro, Ra, how you got your dreads? Y'all be DMing me, Ra, dreads, dreads. I have videos that explain everything y'all talking about. And some, y'all be commenting and stuff on some of those videos. Y'all need to watch the whole video to see, you feel me? So, yeah, bro. Like, that's what it is. You know, my dreads. Let me check my shit. Down there on my chin right now. You feel me? I think the longer. The front look you longer than the back look, you feel me? But that's because how the way I had cut them when I had my free forms, you feel me? But it's all good though, I ain't gonna trip about it. It's long enough. You know, cause I got a drop. Oh yeah, y'all be asking what type of haircut I got. I got a drop fade. It's not no high top fade, I got a drop fade. You know what I'm saying? I got a drop fade. I've been having the same haircut, a drop fade, since like sophomore year. I always had a drop fade. I had the same drop fade since like sophomore year. Actually, since eighth grade, I had a drop fade. You know what I mean, cause like, what other hairstyle I'm gonna get? Like, what other haircut I'm gonna get? Besides, I guess you could get a blowout, but no, I ain't want no blowout, cause I always had a blowout. Is it a blowout or a drop fade? But I had every haircut in the book literally when I was younger. But it always go back to a, a blowout, and then eventually I was like, man, I'm gonna switch it up. So I got a drop fade. I've been sticking with the drop fade ever since. I don't see me changing it up. Really, I've been seeing people like growing like they size up. But that's with people that got like high top, like hella high top fades and stuff like that. But yeah, y'all, you know what I'm saying? That's how I got my dress, you feel me? That's how I got my dress, you know? Thumbnail, and that's how I got my dress and stuff like that. So make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. If y'all want more topics about hair or whatever, let me know in the comment section. I might start doing um, dread reviews as well. So comment some rappers. Y'all want me to do dread reviews as well. And it's your boy Robin. I'm gone. Peace.